Hey YouTubers, this is Tim at JLMiniatures.com. Um, this is kind of a, a, a rambling video um, tonight, and uh, also to show you my uh, my newest uh, Chaos Champion. Um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about that, and uh, uh, special thanks to a couple people. Um, uh, Trainaholic, uh, Bill, he's uh, been really good in helping me out, trying to get subscribers um, to my channel, and I uh, greatly appreciate that. Another person that's really helped me out uh, over the past year is uh, Christopher at AG Productions. Um, great guy, and uh, his videos are, are, are well worth the money. I definitely enjoy that. Uh, Trainaholic, uh, love his videos. Um, uh, Sweet Terrain. Um, trying to think of another person that I really... Uh, Girl Painting, she's been doing some really great videos. Um, Nutaku, when I get a chance to, you know, watch his, I definitely do. Uh, Dale, um, at Blue Leg Painting, um, I get to email him, talk to him, you know, every so often and watch it, as many videos as I can of his. And uh, Blue Table Painting is another one um, that um, hopefully my hobby shop uh, will aspire to that um, type of level where we can get to painting full armies for people, you know, on a daily basis. and. Uh, that type of thing. Um, so there's a special thanks to you guys uh, for helping me out, getting subscribers and everything else, and um, you know plugging me when you can. I appreciate that. Um, now along with uh, what I'm working on today is uh, a Chaos Champion. He's immortal. Um, the first thing I used was the uh, the Seeker legs. Um, I'm pretty much almost out of the Seeker legs, so I'm gonna have to come up with something different. Um, along with the uh, the black orc uh, torso. Um, what I did with this is I basically bent it backwards so the lower torso is up here and then his head and arm area is down here now. So it kind of just flips them kind of backwards. And then I used two of the cast spawn tails to give it some uh, kind of balance. The uh, old chaos um, plastic uh, arms for the chaos warriors I really like those. Um, when I when I find them and do conversions, I really like those um, a lot better than the new stuff when it comes to the cast warriors. Uh, let's see here. Um, for the wall that he's kind of standing on, uh, this right here is from the uh, the giant. This is the one part of the wall where he's actually swinging it. And what I did is I took and uh, chopped off about three bricks worth uh, just because I needed it to where he looks like he was uh, crouching on it and getting ready to pounce. So I took and trimmed these off, and then I re-notched them. So I'm gonna take and kind of tilt it so you can kind of see in there. You can see where I've you know re-notched it and everything else. So it still looks like it, you know, the bricks and everything else in the mortar. Then I just added some uh, wood off parts to it. So it's got the uh, it's got the leaves, the big huge leaves, which I got hundreds of those and don't know anything what to do with them. So I decided to do that. Also the branch with the uh, the skeleton on it, just to add it some more detail, and with a bone hanging there. Um, this cast warrior is going to have the uh, the shield. Um, one thing I did find out um, when positioning the shield on him, if I had him on a regular base, the shield would actually be below the base, so it would hit um, the gaming table, which it would not work at all. So uh, how I solved that was I took and built this um, kind of you know ornate decorative. Um, base just for that reason. Um, what it does is it puts them up higher. Um, that way I can rank them up. If I grab one of my minis here, you can kind of see, you know, so he's going to be, you know, high enough to where I can put, you know, miniatures behind him. He's still going to rank up just fine and uh, it's going to look uh, fantastic. Um, right now uh, I'm just doing these for fun. I don't have anybody uh, that's um, commissioning any work for me right now. Um, I'm definitely looking for uh, more work. And uh, that's one thing I wanted to, uh, to tell you guys is um, I'm looking for um, people that want either one miniature, one unit, or a complete army. It really doesn't matter to me. Uh, it's all about what you guys need in the community. Um, I took and, you know, I, I take and make custom pieces. I enjoy that. Uh, if it's something that you want me to design and build, but not paint, I can also do that. Um, I don't charge, you know, 
too much to do that. Basically, it's usually the kits and then just a little bit of cash for me, and then I get to keep the bits. Um, I'm one of those people that love bits. The more bits, the better. So um, if you want to take an even uh, commission me to take and build you a Chaos uh, Champion or some kind of champion, um, all you do is just send me just just a bunch of bits and uh, tell me what you want, whether it be you know a Chaos Warrior with two hand weapons or a great weapon or you know something along that lines. Um, I've painted over probably 25 different armies now to where you know I've got quite a bit of bits from different things that I can um, convert and change over and, and move things around and make things more unique. You know when I build these here I keep in mind that I'm building um, I'm building pieces for eye catchers. You know I want people to stop you know, when they're when they're walking past gaming table after gaming table, to stop and say, "Wow, how did he do that? What bits did he use?" You know, and that type of thing. And that's what I like to do, and try to help you guys do the same thing. That's why with this guy here, you know, I tell you exactly what I used and where I got the bits from. You know, to to aspire you to um, go out and do the same thing. And uh, I'd like to see what you guys can come up with. So um, I'm challenging anybody out there that wants to build a chaos uh, mortal. Um, go ahead and uh, build it up and paint it and uh, uh, I'd like to see what you can come up with so there's your challenge um, again this is Tim at j &L Miniatures and uh, if you need anything uh, you can go ahead and email me it's going to be in the bottom of the description and uh, I'll talk to you later thanks